Only if the countries uh, and governments uh, obeyed it. I mean, you can pass something, you can adopt something at the United Nations, but if the individual countries decide they're not going to abide it, then then you can't force them. But the the, the I guess what we're trying to do here is is to take a, an evolutionary step forward as a human species and realize that what we're doing is actually not only damaging the earth, but it's damaging millions and millions of people upon the earth. These floods and these, you know, this devastation, what happened in Japan, this is actually not just hurting the environment, but it's hurting people, it's usually hurting the poorest, it's very often indigenous tribal community people. So what we're trying to say is you cannot have human rights, you can't build on a legacy or a set of values around human rights if you don't respect the rights of the earth that gives us life and of other species. So it's a, it's a, it's a change in your, the way you think. So if we can get nation states, we'd like organizations <clears throat> to adopt this notion, this universal declaration, eventually we want to see it as a companion piece to the 1948 Declaration of, the right, uh, of Human Rights. Now, did that mean that all human rights abuses stopped between 1948 and today? Not at all. Does it mean that we don't still aspire to this? Yes, we do. Mm. And, and, and to, to say that as a, as, a, as a collective people, or the United Nations is the closest thing we have to a, a parliament, I guess, of the world, to say that we want to move in this direction is a very, very important step forward. But I, I mean, what you're saying about the the uh, oil drilling, I mean, the, in my country, I'm Canadian, they've got, we're planning for three offshore uh, BP projects in, in the Beaufort Sea, which is, I mean, if you think it's going to be, it was bad in the Gulf, wait till you add freezing temperatures and, and the ice mm. packs and so on. And, and uh, nobody's, nobody's able to, do, the fracking, the gas yeah. fracking. If you had a different way of thinking of it, though, you'd say you cannot use that you cannot destroy that water to get at that natural gas, no matter how nice it might be for you to have that natural gas as an alternative to fossil. You have to take into account what you're doing to nature and getting it. Enjoy Grit TV? Want more people to see it? Well, we are making our program available free to public television stations coast to coast. If you would like to see our show on your local public television station, please give them a call and ask for Grit TV with Laura Flanders. Thanks.